Hey y'all, guess what time it is? It's time to plant those corn seedlings out in the kiddie pool. Well, the sun is going down. Probably another 20 minutes it'll be completely behind the trees. So this is a good time to plant. You don't want to plant in the heat of the day, even though you've hardened off your plants. You can still give them transplant shock if it's very hot and very sunny. So plant in the, at the end of the day or on a cloudy day. Now this is part three of a four part series on setting up a kiddie pool. If you'll remember part one, we did this. We set up the pool and leveled it and I showed you how to install the float assembly. In part two, we talked about the mix, how I like to fill the bags, and remember I've recently had a video up on uh, method one and method two on filling bags. If you want to plant right away, you want to use method one. If you don't want to plant right away, you can use method two, which allows you to put the fertilizer in the mix ahead of time and let it sit for three or four days prior to planting. Also in part two, I showed you how you could fit multiple sized bags in one kiddie pool. The way you adjust for that, because the water level is different for each size bag, is by using P-Rock. So now it is finally warm enough to plant our corn seedlings and that's what I'm going to show you now. You know it's pretty difficult when your seed starting plants to get them all to be the same height. You're not ever going to have it perfect. These corn seedlings were begun about three weeks ago and they're honestly too tall but that's okay. What you really want is between six to eight inches, and I guess that's why I said in the corn video, don't be in a rush to plant. Normally, we have a lot warmer spring, but Mother Nature surprised us this year, so I've had to wait. You don't want to plant your corn until your nighttime temperatures are about 60 degrees. They do not like the cold. So, with these varying heights, I'm going to show you the best way to plant in the bags. Okay, we're going to put four plants per bag. Now when planting corn, there are a couple of special things you want to do. First, you want to come in about three inches or so from the outer edge of the bag to plant your corn. Secondly, if you have multi-sized corn, it's best to put the very tallest corns in the back of the bag that face the center of the pool. So here's one that's really tall. And carefully squeezing it out of the net cup. Now, depth-wise, You're not trying to bury it, but you are trying to support it. Corn will grow little anchor nodules, 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 however you say it, at the top of the stalk. That's what helps to hold that corn upright into the ground. You don't want those to be exposed. In fact, you need to check them pretty frequently for the first few days to a week to make sure that they're not getting exposed out. If they are, you just want to take a little bit of mix and mound it up around the outside. Okay, so my tallest corn is at the back. Now coming in three inches, I'm going to make a diamond pattern. And I'm going to try to pick three that are about the same size here.
This first little leaf down here is the cotyledon leaf. And I'm just carefully twisting it off. It's not necessary, so I'm getting rid of it. So again, a diamond pattern coming in three inches from the side of the bag. Had that one a little bit far from the edge, so I'm just carefully scooting it. And then our last one for the bag. I'm compressing just a little bit on the top, but that's just to support the plant. I'm not trying to compress the mix down below it. I'm just supporting the plant. All right, let me do their other bags, and then we'll come back and talk about the final thing you want to do. Okay, they're all planted, so now you need to give them a good drink of water. Now... When your corn has reached about a foot tall, that's when you want to give it the ring of fertilizer around the outer edge. Now this particular corn, the mix already has fertilizer in it, but I'm still going to add a ring of fertilizer because they are heavy feeders. Some of this corn, especially the ones I planted in the back of the bags, are well over 12 inches tall. So, I don't really have to wait two weeks. I could probably just wait a week and then put the ring of fertilizer around the outside. If you are using a synthetic 10-10-10 fertilizer, the recommendation is one cup. If you are going with organic, then you want to double that amount unless you have an organic that you found in pellet form that's 10 10 10. someone uh, recently said they found some but i haven't found it i've only found five 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 so i double the amount on top of the ring of fertilizer you want to put just some dry potting mix you do not water it in you let the rain take care of that as it slowly goes down after you do the ring of fertilizer and the dry mix on top, you can go ahead and put a mulch on if you'd like. I like to use Easy Straw with Tack. I get it from Tractor Supply. It doesn't have any seeds in the straw. It stays put, and that's what I, I prefer to use. Last year, our corn was doing beautifully. It was probably yay high and we had gone out of town and there was a storm. When we came back, the corn looked like this. I was in panic mode. Some folks said, oh, don't worry about it. That happens all the time out in cornfields. It'll raise back up. Other folks said, oh, no, it won't. We've grown corn in these bags before. It will not go back straight up. So, the first thing I did was kind of carefully pick them up and I stuck a piece of PVC pipe down in there and kind of loosely tied the corn together just to try, kind of try to get it to go upright. After that, I decided, well, I need to support this corn and I did it by individual bag. I used garden wire and I wrapped each bag with it and that worked. It, it stayed upright, it never blew down, but it didn't work for the varmints. We don't really have raccoons here, we've never seen them, and we have chickens, so I think we'd know if raccoons were invading our property, because they'd definitely be after the chickens. But we do have squirrels. As you can
can see the trees behind me, the tree rats are abundant. We have seen them steal corn before when we planted in ground. Those squirrels climbed up this, down it, in the heavy stalks, and ate the corn in place every single ear. Here's what it looked like. So this year, we're going to be prepared. I will be showing you in part four what we have come up with that I think is squirrel proof, easy to build, easy to take down, and easy to store. This pool is going next door to our neighbors, as I mentioned in part one, and I am gonna give him my little cages here but he may want to come up with something else to defeat the squirrels. Thank you for watching. As always, we appreciate your support. Please subscribe if you like our channel. And if you've been watching this series, you kind of know what's coming here at the end. This will probably be the last time I pick on Bubba Bob. My husband Randy said I needed to stop picking on him. So I'm not picking. I'm really just giving him Southern education. So here's the last of his Southern education. Bye. Have a good. Who makes instant grits? You don't say. Does he think I just fell off the turnip truck? <laughs> They got die-hard batteries on sale up at the Walmart. She's as country as cornbread. Y'all need to start acting like you got some sense. <laughs> you need to stop looking at me. Bubba Bob. Bobby Bubba, Bubba Bobba Bobby. Bubba. Lottie, these folks live out in the boonies. Oh, his voice is like honey on a biscuit. Her butter has done slid off her biscuit. That's mighty trifling. Ooh, this ain't fit to eat. Ain't that pitiful? They got alligator nuggets on sale up at the Walmart. He's a doozy. My mama could worry the dirt off a dirt road. They got- <laughs> No sales on hamburger helper? <laughs> do go on. This is the real deal right here. They sell produce now down at the Dollar Dental. That's as useless as a cup of decaf. If you mind your own biscuit, life will be gravy. I used to could. What? Ah, I can't do the up to Walmart sandwich anymore. Pay her no mind, she's just pitching hissy fit. Why, little old me? Honey child, sometimes the juice just ain't worth the squeeze. Come here and give me some sugar.